everyone, it is your human Thork, and welcome or welcome back to our channel. And for the first time, welcome to our Minecraft 1.20 survival let's play. That That's so exciting. I'm so excited. I have been waiting to say that for so long, you have no idea. Oh my god, there's a village up there already? Which, that might mean that there's also a cherry blossom up there. On like, on the other side of it. I, if that's the case, this is so perfect. I think we should get down off of this tree and actually explore what this world has to offer. Um, oh. Wait a second, I have a surprise for you guys. In honor of 1.20, I brought with me an outfit that I think is gonna fit the series really well. So real quick, I'm gonna go change behind this tree and uh, just, just give me a second, all right? All right, you guys ready to see this? Oh my God, I love it. This is so cool. As you can tell, I've gotten better at making skins. I, I mean, outfits, totally outfits, totally, totally outfits. <laughs> but yeah, look at this from the back. I got some cherry blossoms in my hair. I actually kind of made my hair kind of what it is like in real life. I tried to go for like a cherry blossom theme hoodie. You know, I just, I just wanted to be a little bit festive, you know? I thought a brand new survival Let's Play series called for that. And I think I may stick with this for a while. Let me know what you guys think of it. I'm down to make some changes but like yeah i'm loving this uh, anyways enough about this outfit i think we should actually get started on this world man i am so ready you know the first step in any minecraft world is getting wood oh there we go that feels so good all right now i think i want to make my way up toward that village area and on the way over there i think it's best that i also spend a little bit of time introducing myself i am your human thork this is the your human thork channel and i try to go for a more chill approach to minecraft uh <laughs> i just try to be as real as possible and focus on the smaller aesthetically pleasing and pretty aspects of minecraft so if that sounds like something you're into i would be happy to have you on board for this series we take our time we explore the world a little bit, all the small overlooked aspects. That's what I really enjoy. If you have any suggestions for what I could do in this world, definitely let me know. Oh my god, these look so pretty. Look at this. I definitely see iron, so that's where we're going. Oh, you're not a trident zombie, are you? No, you're fine. If you want to know what shaders I use, all of that information will be in the description. Feel free to check that if you want to learn anything about my process, how, what I use to make videos, uh, shaders, information, and all of that kind of stuff. All right, let's get our first stone in the world. Oh man, it feels good to start fresh. This is the second Let's Play of the channel, and I am feeling the vibes already. Gotta get all the necessities, and I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that is the sun going down already, which uh, is concerning. We should probably get up to that village and steal a bed. Um, I do want this iron first, though. Yeah, nah, 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 I, w I want a bed. Ah, civilization. Awesome. Thank you so much for your hospitality. Good start, good start, I love it. This will not last long, but I do appreciate it regardless. Uh, now, seriously, I need a bed. Excuse me, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, I feel much better. Smithing table. I hope there's more than two houses. Oh my gosh, there is. Blacksmith. But what is this village? Dude, oh my god. Oh, this village formation is wild. Sir, sir, you have your work cut out for you protecting this village, I think. That is a very cool location for a blacksmith, actually like in the mines. That's crazy. Also, I don't think I'm gonna stay in this village for long, uh, just enough to get myself situated. I do tend to stick close to spawn when I start my worlds. Last series was a testament to that because we basically did not move at all, uh, but it was worth it because of the location. Here though, I definitely want to find a cherry blossom biome or a cherry grove biome. I'm not too sure what they're called, but I don't think that matters. We do want to save these guys, though. Come on. No. Really? Th Thank you. <laughs> the sass of that guy, I swear. I've never seen a villager with that much attitude in my life. I will... I heard that. <laughs> I heard that. Oh... Are you kidding me? This is a speedrunner's dream right here. <laughs> okay, so we can hit the nether pretty early. 
13 obsidian. That's almost like enough for all of, wait, hang on. I actually cannot believe that. We are one obsidian away from being able to do an enchantment table and a portal. Hello. Also, can we talk about how cute this makes me look? Okay, um, things, things, things. I definitely want this. Sorry, I'm gonna take your job. Uh, I definitely hear those skeletons, although I don't really want to go looking for them just yet. As always, I will cut out what is interesting and what isn't. I may focus on the chill aspects of Minecraft. However, I don't want to bore you guys with all of the resource gathering most of the time. These first couple of nights are an exception to that rule. Do I want to gather all of this? No, probably not, but it's going to be useful. Absolutely. Okay, that, that's kind of ridiculous. Never mind. Also, I will steal all of your wheat, thank you very much. Uh, consider it a long-term loan. With no interest. This area is very hilly and very choppy. It's not that good for setting up a starter base, so I think we need to move on. I will gladly uh, borrow these. Yep, 100%. I don't think we're gonna get- <gasps> I was about to say, I don't think we're gonna get lucky and get a potato, but we did. We have carrots and potatoes and a ton of bread, so we should be set for a long time. My inventory is getting a little full, though. Ooh, I think I see our next goal. Oh, you're the uh, introvert of the village, huh? I, I understand. This is strange. Cursed images, anyone? We're definitely gonna have to come back to this village, cause I almost guarantee you we missed a house that's probably tucked under a cave somewhere. Uh, I just said, uh, not tucked under a cave. <gasps> that was close. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't want to fight. I will take you. Thank you very much. Also, I will take your door. Whoa, that is going to be an adventure for another day. Yeah, like I said, another day. I want to climb this mountain though. Why? Potentially cherry blossoms? Hopefully maybe cherry blossoms? That looks stunning. I don't know if we're going to be that lucky. This is a gorgeous area. Nothing like having a piece of bread on your bed on the top of a mountain on day one. It is a vibe for sure. Okay, let's continue exploring a little bit. Wrong way. Off to a great start. <gasps> oh, I don't have berries or anything, but that, that fox, it's so cute. <gasps> oh, you're so sneaky. You are adorable. Goats, lots of goats. And looks like a lot of high terrain, which definitely means there is a high chance of a cherry blossom. Oh, little tiny squeaks. Gotta check out this area. Loot. Give me your loot. Oh my gosh, yes, please, give me your loot. I, I don't have enough room for your loot. I don't need an extra set of pants. That is a vibe. This spawn it just keeps getting better and better. <gasps> what? What have we just stumbled upon? <gasps> yes! Cherry blossoms! Oh! Guys, what is going on? This area is crazy. <gasps> yeah, yeah, this is where I'm building. That is a crazy image. Uh, okay, well, I think we should probably head over to the cherry blossom, cherry grove biome. Ah, oh, man, this is so cool. I'm calling it now. I don't think I could have asked for a better area. I know I may be getting ahead of myself here just a little bit, but like I have explored so many seeds just for like B-roll footage, like the little talking videos that I've been doing. And I have never come across something like this. And you know, I think I'm gonna take that as a sign that this is the perfect seed. And yes, this seed will also be in the description. That is a long fall. I do not want to fall in there. Man, the only thing that would make this better is a, uh, a lush cave biome underneath one of these. Then we can really get started. This is gonna be so fun. Whoa, that's a steep drop off. What is hiding inside of you? Imagine that goes down to the deep dark. Ah, uh, ah. <laughs> could we get some sneaky surface iron real quick? No, but we could get a crazy view. This seed is 100% it. Spooky, but oh my god, look, cherry blossoms. Oh my god, look at this. <gasps> it's so pretty. Oh, this is so cool. I had, <gasps> what? It's, mm oh god, are you kidding me? This goes on for forever. <laughs> I, I think I'm in love. <laughs> Actually, wait, it, that's two separate, 
oh hello that's a spooky in the background but i'm not gonna worry about that at the moment seems as if i'm not the only one enjoying this area and a beehive oh man this is just too good whoa oh my god there's so much to explore in this world i am so overwhelmed uh huh do I build over there? Do I build over here? Do I build over there? Oh my god. Do I build there? <laughs> I think this is probably everything I possibly could have wanted. Oh, we're gonna do so many cool things here. Well, I think there's gonna be tons of stuff to go explore. But what we need to do right now is, uh, I don't know, plop our bed down and uh, actually start claiming an area. Ah, oh, man. With the golden light, it's so pretty. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, so I think this is our little base of operations for now. I'll build something really cool eventually in this episode. But for now, I need to go get some iron. I need to go get some stone, some more wood. Um, and yeah, I just need to get a ton of stuff going and explore a little bit more. Hello, chicken. Are you enjoying this too? Okay, just ignore me then, why don't you? Yeah, uh, I think the first thing that I have to do obviously yes cherry log this is my first time mining uh cherry trees in general cherry logs oh they look so good they look so good oh, oh yeah i forgot you could oh, 47 i'm gonna have way too many of these this is dangerous oh a sapling it's so pretty i am gonna say that way too much but it's so true you can stack them oh that's why i get so many Oh man, this gives me so many ideas. That's crazy. That's wild. Okay, okay. I need to stop getting distracted. I need to go and find some resources. And I know there was a huge cave like just over that way. However, I mean, I gotta explore a little bit more. I don't want to get too close to that just yet. I want to get some basic armor and a shield and then we can go and tackle that. A savanna as well? It looks like a very small one though, which is totally fine. You probably have something in ya. Why yes you do. And I don't like that thing. You're sneaking away. Imagine if we were to find a spawner. I, I know, that's probably not gonna happen in this episode. All right, that's our first little bits of iron. I'm gonna save the copper and all that kind of stuff until I get fortune or something. I don't think I'm gonna be building out of copper right away. Look at this area. Absolutely mind-blowing. <gasps> Whoa, that's a cool image. Iron, you had to be in the like most inconvenient spot. Eh, I need the stone anyway, I can staircase up. There we are. You're probably just gonna be one too, huh? Yeah. Huh? Actually, that that bar reminded me. Oh my god, wait. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. That's gonna be such a pleasure to build with. It is getting night though, and while this area is beautiful, it's probably also very dangerous. So I think it's actually time that I smelt a little bit of this iron to make shears. I hear a ton of sheep. Huh. Yes, let's go. And I think it's only fitting that our first iron pickaxe is going to be made out of cherry wood, even though it doesn't show up. I just like that idea. All right, where did those sheep go? There you are. There we go. That's enough. That's just real fast. Let's just take a rest. If we're going to explore a little bit more, then you know we have to make a shield. I am an adventurer, but I am a smart adventurer. Always carry your shield. All right, let's just continue... And that is why I make a shield. No, thank you. No, thank you. Not today. But also, is that a copper vein? I think that might be a copper vein. I mean, if it isn't, that is like the most amount of copper I have ever seen in a single area. Uh, I don't think I want to do that much caving, at least currently. I tend to not venture into caves on the first episode of anything. Yikes. Stop it. Silly. Stop it. They're intimidating without armor. In addition to focusing on the creative aspects of Minecraft and the pretty aspects, that also means that I tend to go pretty slow. So if you want, you know, that chill, laid-back experience, um, yes. Uh, just yes, <laughs> I guess. I tend to stick with stone and iron tools a lot longer than your average Let's Player, I would imagine. But we do have to get situated a little bit. I think this is a copper vein, because look at this. This is going to be so much copper with fortune. And I always forget the upgrade from stone 
to iron is so, so satisfying. I am feeling increasingly not prepared for a caving adventure. I just wanted to get some surface iron and that's it. <laughs> yeah, look at this. There is way too much copper here to not be a copper vein. Okay, never mind. It does go down pretty far. <laughs> I think I want to leave this cave alone for now. I have 21 pieces of iron. I have a good bit of stone. I think I can head out of this cave and just maybe explore a little bit more of this. It just keeps going. We can make an entire cherry kingdom. Oh, Wolfie, I have bones. Oh my gosh, imagine if we can get a dog on our first day. Hey buddy, hey, hi. One. <gasps> yes. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Hello. Best friends forever indeed. Oh, what is your name? Well, <laughs> how silly of me. In the comments, let me know what this guy's name should be. This is so perfect. And no rush. I have a feeling that it's going to be a long time before we find a name tag for this guy. Oh my gosh. You're so cute. All right. We have a little buddy. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. All right, buddy. Let's go on an adventure. Iron. Iron. Oh, buddy, caves are not for dogs. You just wait here, all right? I'm gonna go get that iron real quick and then we'll head back home, all right? See, this is why caves are not for dogs. Oh, I almost forgot. I could be getting these. That might come in useful. Emeralds. Man, it's been so long since I've just straight up mined emeralds. All right, I think 34 iron, that much coal, and that many emeralds is good enough for a first episode. What do you think? All right, silent type. I, I, I understand. I'm also an introvert. Okay, I'm sorry. I do have to just explore this a little bit more because I, I, I just, I can't not. We get a gigantic cherry blossom area the first episode and you expect me not to run around and frolic in it? Excuse me, do you even know the Thork brand? That is quite literally the Thork brand and wow. Okay then. Man, with all of these extreme hills... One of these areas has to have a dark city, right? Or an ancient city, or a deep dark city, or ancient for- I don't know what they're called, man. It, the sights just keep being seen. That just straight up is a waterfall. Wait for me right here. This is quite the cave. What do you have? Okay, that's definitely a copper vein. Look at that. That is deep dark, and it is certainly deep and very dark. That is not an episode one thing. That is what I would consider a future Thork problem. Uh, that is also a future Thork problem. All right, I am so glad that I told you to stay right here, because that was crazy. I do kind of want to go see what's at that portal, and then we'll head home. And in between me talking, I am just like silent. I am speechless. Chest? Is it buried? It's probably buried, isn't it? Yes, indeed it is. I am glad I uncovered that. The last piece of obsidian. Oh my god, the last piece of my inventory space. Okay. You good? <laughs> oh man, that was definitely a walnut move. Are you kidding me? <gasps> Even more. Oh my. Oh my, I am confident at this point that there is not a single piece of flat land anywhere to be found here. Sunflowers, yes please. You know, another thing is with how hilly this terrain is, I have a feeling that an elytra is going to be a necessity to get around. Because think about it, if I wanted to make a build over here and then a build over there and then a build back there, you can't possibly ask me. It is a funny joke if you expect me to travel that amount of distance on foot. Actually, I know how to get back home. Absolutely, that's so cute. All right, it is time to head back. We have a ton of resources, a ton of loot, a ton of new areas to explore as well, and a new friend. That is just super cool. You see, he hello, spooky areas. I, I, I'm okay, I'm good. All right, buddy, let us continue. This terrain is nuts. Oh, no, thank, no, thank you. Hey, get him. Oh, actually, absolutely not. I heard that, you heard that. Right, uh, did we find a spawner? I, uh, that's, wait, yep. 
Are you kidding me? What in the world is this seed? Remember when I said that I don't think we're gonna find a spawner in the first episode? Well, uh, I guess I lied. Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, protection and a saddle. <gasps> a name! Hey, remember? <laughs> Remember when I said that I don't think that I'm gonna get a name tag in a while? Well, I guess I lied with that one too. Okay, that's crazy. That's crazy, right? Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, let's continue to try to get home at this rate. Ooh, I should, I should mark where this is at. Look at how flat this area is. That is very pretty. This might be a good contender for like a big base area. You know what? While I'm waiting for the sun to go down, I might as well get a horse, cause why not, right? Come on, it's getting too late for this. Buddy, there we go. Come here, buddy, let's see how fast you are. Uh, not too bad, but I do wanna see if uh, any of your friends have something to say about that. Hey, there we go. All right, let's see if your friend is any faster. Yes, yes you are, by quite a significant margin. Let's try one more. You are very stubborn. All right, let's see what you can do. That's not much. Not really a good jumper either. I think I want to go for speed. It's not a bad vertical as well. Yeah, that's like two, two and a half blocks. That is very fair. All right, buddy. Armor. <laughs> uh, well, I guess this means that I have to find another name tag, which may take a little longer because right now we have our name tag for you. Just we need to find what you're called. I mean, you don't look like a domino or a walnut. I mean, I will let you guys name this one as well. Just this one may have to wait a little bit. <laughs> wow, this is so pretty. <laughs> okay, let's just try to head home. Whoa, hang on a second there, bud. Okay, that looked a lot larger. Where, where'd my horse go? There, <laughs> don't like heights? <laughs> I understand. I, I would say that I'm just gonna cut to when I'm back at our original place, but I don't know what else I'm gonna find, so I'm just gonna uh, try to follow the cliffs. <gasps> pumpkins? Of course pumpkins. Always pumpkins. Yes, please. You know what's fascinating? I was like this close, like this close to re-rolling the seed because of where we started. Uh, and I was like, ah, well, how interesting could it be? You know, and I was like, I might retry this intro. Because a little bit of behind the scenes, I do re-roll the seed uh, a couple times just until I feel like good about it. I don't go explore it. You know, I, I show you me creating it so you know it's real. How in the world am I going to get you over to the other side? This will look very ugly, but you got to do what you got to do. <gasps> All right, I was going to check this area out. Well, I guess we can do that now. This area is certainly very cool, but way too dark. Yes, I am doing all of this for a singular horse. All right, buddy. Let's get you home. We even have a nice little beach. Isn't that lovely? While I'm here, gotta get some sand. Okay, I think that's enough sand. Oh man, trying to navigate a horse through hills. Not the most fun activity. All right, so we are back safe and sound. I just checked that clip and it was an hour, like just about an hour's worth of just exploration. So yeah, we did a lot in this episode already. Right now though, I think it is time. Where did my horse go? Wait, I, I just realized, where did my horse go? I had him like right here. Oh my gosh, you are quite literally living life on the edge. No, I know you want to go adventure, but we got to do it safely. Just chill right here. I'm not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Got it? Yeah, okay, got it. That's what I thought. I don't think they can jump out of this, but just in case. No, oh, I see you looking at that gap. Okay, that is our horse pen for now. It's not much. I, I promise I'll get you something better. Uh, don't... Now you're pouting at the wall, aren't you? I promise it's not going to be permanent. Okay, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I think it's time that we get focused on building our starter base, our little cozy first house of this world. And honestly, after traveling around for a while, I think this area is perfect. It's already basically clear and flat. I don't have to do much to it. I could just build something up right here, right along that tree line, and just vibe, honestly.
huh, this is a vibe. This is also super ironic because I'm probably going to have to take a break in this recording session to let a storm pass through. So, so, I mean, that's interesting. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. I forgot about rainbows. This is so perfect. All right, I think it's time for me to start actually collecting some wood for us to build this house. And you know, I'm probably going to do all of that off camera. You know, traveling up the backside of this mountain, though, did give me a good idea because we have basically all the wood types we need. I'm gonna go do that and we'll get this house up and running. I am so excited. Oh, real quick, before I go do that, I almost forgot. I think it is time for an upgrade. You know, this is a big wide world and it's scary. I'll, I'll be honest, it's spooky, at, at least a little bit. I also want to get an ax to get trees a little bit faster. Get the essentials, get a bucket going. All right, look at us. Oh. Well, uh, I did not plan that, but, um, that was perfect timing. Uh, excuse me, sirs. I know we're neighbors and everything, but, uh, I would really appreciate some privacy here. <sighs> this, this is gonna be a regular occurrence, isn't it? <laughs> okay, with our first battle one in this world, I think I am actually going to go and get situated with a ton of wood, try to find spruce, uh, and meet you back here when I'm done. Let's go do it. I collected almost two stacks. I think that's going to be enough for a starter house. And you know, we have everything that we need to start this house. However, looking at this area and that area in particular, I think this area calls for another exploration adventure, but in the morning. <laughs> okay, like how can I not? This area is just way too cool. This is such a pretty valley area. I think it's time to set sail. This area is very like Minecraft title screen of an update. I don't remember which one it is, but that's what it's reminding me of. Whoa, excuse you. Sail down, buddy. Whoa, the terrain generation in this world is just crazy. Whoa, that was close. I was not looking. This continues to just go on and on and on. That is my cue to leave, but I still want to get this iron. And also, this is a lot of granite. I should probably take some. I feel like for the house, this kind of reddish tone would be really pretty. Okay, so I may have done a little bit more than just get a couple pieces of granite. I got a stack of granite, a stack of andesite, and a stack of diorite. I mean, the granite for the house is an obvious one because, you know, red synergy. But I also think some of the diorite might be able to look pretty cool too. So we'll just figure that out when we get there. I don't exactly have a goal with this starter house. I'm just going to build stuff and see what happens. This seems like a nice little area to explore later. Also, while I'm here, I don't know why. I just wanted the achievement. Man, if I went this way first and did not discover our huge big area over there, this probably would have been our starter home. Because like, look at this. You could create like gates or big doors over here and then lead into it like an internal kingdom. That would be really cool. You even have a pool. You know, it works. Maybe we'll still do something with this area, but for now, let's keep moving on. All right, let's go. Whenever I see like canyons like this, I automatically think about like a lakeside village spanning this entire length. <laughs> like, it would be so cool. It looks like it just keeps going. Whoa, that is fantastic. Interesting. Wait a second. That wall did not look real. Oh boy. This looks crazy. It is. Okay, this is way too dangerous. This is way too dangerous. Come on. I just want to see what's in here. Lots of stuff that does not look good for me. Do I have arrows? Yes, I do. This is definitely not an adventure for today, but this looks like a crazy adventure. Actually, kind of nuts. Don't tell me there's another. Oh, that goes down a ways. But no, I don't think this area is as big. Oh, I have not gotten sugarcane yet in this world. And I won't if my inventory has anything to say about it. We are definitely going to need to get some sugarcane up and running since we already have enough obsidian for an enchantment table. I think a sugarcane farm is top of the agenda as well. Oh my gosh, is this another entrance to that one area? <gasps> yeah, I think it is, but what? Absolutely not today, thank you very much. That area is yet again what I would consider a future Thork problem. See, this 
this is more so the terrain that I expect. Just a normal, casual, non-eventful birch forest. Still very pretty, but like, normal. <laughs> now, I think the only thing that can make this adventure even better would be to find a jungle so that we can get bamboo, so that we could get that new wood type. <gasps> oh my, we even have a shipwreck in the most aesthetically pleasing area, mind you. Wait a second, this happened in our other world where there was just a multi-wood type shipwreck? Is this normal? Is this common? I don't remember this ever being common. Look at that, we can just sail straight through the middle of this thing. That's, that's really cool. Ooh, bottle of enchanting and a ton of iron. I will gladly accept that offer. And free chests are always appreciated. This is right by our cherry blossoms as well. Like, that's kind of nuts. It's just like a ghost ship. The timing on that. I say ghost ship and it goes all rainy like. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. We got moss. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. This is perfect. Okay. It is official. I don't think the seed could get any better. Now, you know what we will need to do? I'm going to have to get myself set up with a boat chest or a chest boat. Because I am finding way too much stuff. There we are. Much better. A little bit more inventory room. You know, not that we need extra pumpkins and suspicious stew, but I I want it. Now, can this also give us a buried treasure? Yes, yes it can. You know, I think we struck the jackpot here. We just got a buried treasure map, but I think the real prize is this moss. Absolutely wild. This is definitely going to have to be a future build, too, but let's check out this map. Hmm... I never know how to read these, I'm gonna be honest. I just run around until the circle gets bigger, and so I think that's what we're gonna go do. Another shipwreck, oh my. Hmm. This might not be the right area. Man, a pirate's life is not for me. Okay, day two of trying to be a pirate, or be in the headspace of a pirate. Maybe we can get a little bit more lucky today. <gasps> yes! Seeing color on the map is such a good thing. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, this adventure was so worth it. And it's even on that shoreline too. Okay, we definitely need to disembark here and find where this is at. Okay, I think I'm on it. I think it's this one here. Oh my gosh, that was the fastest I've ever gotten one. I usually have to dig around forever. Potion of water breathing. Oh my gosh, this is such good loot. And gold too, which is awesome. Heart of the sea. I have never used one of those before, but who knows, this series might be the series. All right, pirate adventure number one successful. Number two, on the way. I mean, this episode is just turning out so, so, so wonderful. Hopefully we'll have enough room to take everything back. Actually, that's really good. I will take that. Some leather boots for our snowy area is wonderful. Fire protection three? Don't mind if I do. Also, while I'm here, I will definitely collect some kelp, because why not? When in the ocean, kelp. It's always good to have it. All right, pirate adventure number two, complete. That was a very quick one, but mainly because there's no buried treasure to be found in that one. I am more so excited for this, though. Oh, man, I was wondering when we were going to get dark oak. Do we almost have every wood type now? We just need bamboo, the jungle wood, and acacia. Well, we have acacia because we have a savanna over there. Am I missing anything? I don't know if I am. I'm sure I'm missing something. Obviously, there's the nether wood, but I'm not counting that. All right, well, that was quick. I mean, these trees make it really easy to get a lot. And four saplings of each. I do want to head up to high ground, though, just to check this area out a little bit. This birch, it goes on forever. Oh, man. Yeah, I think I'm correct. This birch just never ends. Oh, yeah, give me all these flowers. That's perfect. And what in the world? <gasps> oh, boy, that... <laughs> Oh man, that is scary. This area is dangerous. But like, look at this though. Again, this is just giving like Minecraft title screen of like 2000 and whatever. It has that terrain generation. How how do I get out of here though? I, I need to get home. <laughs> no more uh, surprise falls, please. That would be great. That would be lovely. All right, I think this area is a future Thork problem. Let's head home. Our goodie chest is very full. Even if we found something else, I don't know if we'd be able to carry it, you know? I think it was that way but I want to see what that is. Cause like if we could find like a warm ocean ruin, like where we could find a sniffer egg, that would be perfect. But I don't think we're going to get that lucky. No luck with the ocean monument or whatever they're called. Okay. 
let's get off of this stranded, random, deserted island and actually find our way back home. It would not be a Your Human Thork Let's Play if we didn't get at least a little bit distracted. Now, I know we came from this direction, however, I want to go this way a little bit because I think it all wraps around. And if I'm wrong, I guess we're just going on another adventure, but I think the cherry blossoms connected over here. Ooh, oh my god. Okay, I'm wrong about the cherry blossoms connecting. That is one of the last wood types that we need, actually, and it's really close, it looks like. And pretty big. Alright, this is a good spot as any to try to climb this area. Ooh, melons. Don't mind if I do. And bamboo. That is awesome to see. This is what I'm really after here. With this bamboo, we can actually make the new wood type in 1.20. That is awesome. <gasps> Lush caves! Oh my. Of course it would be in a jungle. <laughs> oh my. Now we don't technically need it. Oh, hello buddy. You're not hiding from anybody. Now we don't really need to go explore this area right now because of all the stuff we already found. However, ho however, I just really want to take a Oh, <laughs> I really want to take a peek. This, this is a lot. <laughs> I, I'm, I just came here for some wood and now I'm in a cave. A really cool cave though. Hang on, hang on, let me regroup here. Let's make a few more torches because I do want to explore this a little bit. Ooh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Don't make torches on a cave entrance. No, thank you. I was just trying to sort my inventory, man. Okay, let's just take a quick peek. Nothing too major. You know what? I think I'm done. I, 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 I don't need it. Can, uh, can this creeper stop creeping? Please, you really need, okay. This is ridiculous. Oh, oh, oh man. That, that was way too close. Oh man, okay. Blocks on hand. I, uh, I panicked there a little bit. I am for sure though completely done with this now. I it is good to know that that is where that is, but that is a no thank you from me. Oh, that that area is so dangerous for no reason at all. I I just need to get some wood and then I'll be out of here. Let's see, do we have enough? Yes, we do. Jungle wood acquired. All right. Uh no. Now let's get out of here. Now, I know our boat is right there and I just put some stuff in it. However, I want to explore a little bit more because I want to see where this jungle leads. Wow, this just keeps getting crazier. Oh my god, you again. Better get a move on. I simply want to see where this connects. That's all. It's simple. We are now not in the jungle though. Ooh, pretty. Seems as if I still gotta be careful, which is wild. What? This is like amplified terrain. You saw me create this world. It's not amplified in the slightest. Oh. Yes, fight amongst yourself, please. Thank you very much. Cliff sides are not the place to be fighting skeletons. What in the world is this terrain? I, I can't get over this. Are, are you seeing this too? I think, yes. Okay, that's our cherry blossom over there. Or maybe, I think so. Oh, yes, okay. I do want these. These will go great with the cherry grove biome. Oh, where are we? <laughs> my goodness. Oh my god. Ooh, I know where I'm at now. Oh, I don't have enough inventory space for a village right now, game. Definitely a pretty village. Hello, cartographer. What have you? Just a couple pieces of bread. I, I, I will take that, actually. I will trade you a bow for your job. Thank you very much. Ding dong. Ding dong? I said... Ding dong. Um, okay, we'll try that again later, I guess. Oh, I definitely need one of these. Oh man, now this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> For no reason, by the way. I just love spaces like this. It just looks so cozy. Let me know if you guys can relate to that too. Ooh, a saddle. I have no room. Alright, let's try this again. Ding dong. They take orders from no one. And, uh, for our purposes, that isn't the best. So for now, we're just gonna do it like that. Since you guys seem content to just exist out here, we can make that happen for you. Alrighty then. Villagers secured. I will also give you a little bit of light in there. Alright, I will try to say it again. Let's try very hard to actually make our way back home. I keep saying it, but then we keep finding new stuff along the way because we get lost and get sidetracked and all that kind of stuff. So now let's actually try it. Right game? 
Uh, hopefully maybe right. We do have to backtrack through the jungle though, which, um, where was the jungle? It was back this way, right? No, it wouldn't, not, what, hmm. Ah, it was this way. This is going to be a long backtracking session, but I can't just head right over there because, well, we, we need our boat. <laughs> All right. Um, whoa, my goodness. Just a singular tree down there with sand. Are you kidding me? It's things like that in the world that get me. A random tree with sand at the bottom of a huge sinkhole. Okay, okay, I remember this field, and there's the jungle. All right, I'm gonna sleep and then try to meet you back at the boat, and then from there, we'll see what happens. Okay, I just had a little bit of an error recording. That's all fixed now. Anyways, yeah, look at this. We're back at home. We still don't have our boat. I got sidetracked again. I don't know how much I ended up capturing versus how much didn't get recorded, but now I need to do the long and daunting process of finding our boat, which is somewhere over there. Don't know where, somewhere over there. Let's see how this goes. Okay guys, so I'm back at the shipwreck. I found the boat, it is, it's It's way over there. Uh, but I was wondering if there was a way through here and there isn't yet. You see, if these two bodies of water were connected, it would make everything so much easier. And you know what? I think that might be a build for later. Not now, but in the meantime, until I get like a canal through here, I think I wanna do a makeshift one. I think the plan is I'm just going to carve my way right through here, connect these two bodies of water, and be on our way. Just something super quick, I'll time lapse it, you know how it goes. Future Thork, take it away. Alright, we have the start of this pathway cleared. Let's just fill this water this way. And now... This is open for business. You know, I told myself I wouldn't decorate this, and I'm not. Trust me, I'm not. If this looks like decoration, uh, it isn't. Maybe. <laughs> okay, maybe it is a little bit. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm decorating a little bit. But look, I, I promise it's worth it. I mean, think about it this way. We're gonna have to decorate this eventually. I'm just getting a head start. Is this totally unnecessary? Absolutely. But minus the dirt, it looks very pretty. All right, it's kind of meh at the moment. I get it, it's not detailed, it's not textured, but we just need to get home right now. This is perfectly fine for a little canal, all right? I definitely have higher standards than this is what I'm saying. I have a feeling that I'm gonna use this a lot. Anyways, let's get back home. Ooh, that feels so cool. Actually, yeah, this little canal is the first build of the world. That is super cool, but you know what else is super cool? This entire area. This is where that little tree area is. I'm really happy that this is like super close to base. All right, let's 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 just keep going. I think this connects. I really hope it does. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to make another waterway. This does connect, right? I didn't do this whole thing for nothing. Well, this certainly opens up, but it's not to what we need. Maybe I went the wrong way. There was a second direction, so maybe that was it. But you know, let's try again. Oh boy. Okay, I mean, it looks like I'm mistaken. How mistaken am I though? Oof, very, all right. You know what, I guess I'll just cut back when I figure all this stuff out. Three, two, now. Um, okay. I didn't find the way back just yet, but I found something, like a really cool thing. I was trying to figure out how to get to the savanna, which is where our base is, or close to where our base is. And I was running around on the top of this mountain again, trying to find where that river connects. And I uh, fell in here, I'm like, and I was like, huh, I wonder what's in here. <laughs> I wonder indeed. This is just ridiculous at this point. I have never seen a dungeon spawn this high before or next to ice like this. So uh, I guess let's see what we have in here. We got another cat disc, we got, a, we got another name tag, and a ton of horse armor. Well, I guess we can name our two friends now, which is ridiculous. I quite literally said, I don't think we're gonna get two name tags in a while, for a reason. I guess I'm just a liar. You know what, let's leave our axe here. I don't think we can take like any of this. I guess we'll have a really close monster spawner now, which is always super cool. Like, <laughs> I can literally see the surface. This is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, this seed is gonna be a highly requested one, I think. All right, I'm gonna try to figure out where this river connects and if it connects to somewhere I can connect to and then go from there. Ah, oh, man, this is such an eventful episode one. I am so thankful for this seed. All right, well, I did find my way through here, but 
it is not connected, which is a little bit unfortunate, but that gives me a great idea for a project in the future. What if we just connected this entire way with like canals and waterways and tunnels and whatnot? I think that would be super cool. But anyways, just in time for the sunset, let's head home. I am super excited to see what this will look like as we round the corner. Wow, <laughs> that looks wild. I cannot believe this area is ours. Anyways, it is getting dark, and I definitely see something below our island that we're probably gonna have to go check out. However, I think we need to make our way up there first. In fact, I know that there's something beneath our island, because when I was gathering resources, I stumbled across a little something. I may have found a huge cave opening, and I think it's that, so we're gonna have to go explore that too. But for now, I am glad we are home. I am so glad we made it back just in time for night. And I don't know if I showed you guys this in a time lapse, but there's another puppo. I found them just wandering around this area, and of course, I couldn't just leave them in the wild. So, now we have two puppos to name. Leave a comment for what you think the second one should be. And in your comment, it would be very helpful if you were to name those suggestions, like name one, name two, or dog one, dog two, horse, all that kind of stuff, so I know which one you are referring to. So, real quick, or <laughs> I guess real quick for you, I'm going to go transport all of that stuff from down there to up here, and then we can check out what's underneath our base, or soon-to-be base, I guess I should say. Alright, let's do it. Alright, we got everything up here and sorted and organized, and, and you know what? I will feel a little bit proud of this, because this is the most organized you are going to see me in this entire world. <laughs> Things quickly devolve into chest monsters around here. <laughs> At least my definition of them. And over here, we have our house chest. These are all of the materials that I plan on working with to build our starter house. We got all these different types of wood. I don't know if I'm going to use them all yet. Some leaves, some different types of stone, some glass, obviously, some very pretty fences. Like, like look at these. They are so good. We are definitely using some of those in our build, 100%. And just a bunch of other random stuff, including moss. You can't forget the moss. And now I think we should do one final exploration expedition in this episode. And I am cutting myself off here for exploration in the episode because I know I could go on forever. I love exploring worlds, but I have to eventually build. All right, let's take a trip down under. You see, when I first started gathering just basic wood, some oak, some birch, and all that kind of stuff. I gathered it over here. Also, this is actually kind of cool. Just a bush. I've actually never seen anything spawn like this, so I might want to keep this around. I don't know. I feel like this kind of spawning for a tree is rare. I don't know, maybe one of you guys can tell me if it is. But regardless, I was working on clearing out this area, and clearly some of my replants have started to grow, but... <laughs> like, look at this. We have a beehive that popped up right in the middle here, which, which I mean, I think that's a sign to make a bee farm over here. We can make a cute pathway, like a little courtyard area, make some hives and all that kind of stuff, and just generally vibe out here. I think that would be great. While I was doing that, I found a thing. Definitely a thing. From right here, I started getting attacked by zombies left and right, and lo and behold, there is a cave. And you know, I thought it would just be a simple cave, nothing much, something I could light up and then forget about. But as I started to explore a little bit deeper, I quickly discovered that no, it's not that simple. Now, I wasn't recording at the time, but because I didn't have any blocks to block off that entrance, I seriously almost <laughs> from a myriad of things, including this. So for now, I'm going to try to go around and see what else is around here. It is always good to know what is under our base. They are sometimes a pain to traverse, but you always get some good stuff in them. Now, this does seem like a larger project than I am currently equipped for with three torches. I don't have any extra wood. There is so much down here. Too much for right now, in fact. Don't want to turn this into a mining expedition. However, while I'm down here, I can't ignore all this iron. All right, it just keeps on going, it looks like. I don't have torches. Let me let me go fix that real quick. Oh my goodness, I missed a lot while I was down there. I desperately need to light this area up. <gasps> oh, oh my god, that's just more work. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. I have to be careful now. Also, while I'm up here, I guess it would be a good idea to start planting some bamboo because I know for a fact that I am going to need it. And while I am down there, just collecting some resources, exploring that cave a little bit, I think this would be a smart idea. Just kind of throw it around, you know? Oh, you know what? I bet some of these caves... <laughs> hey! I was about to say, you know what? I bet some of these caves lead down to wherever these go. And, uh, <laughs> yeah... 
Yeah, I think so. Whew. All right, iron smelting. Let's actually try this again now. All right, I know I was just exploring down there, but let's switch gears. Oh man, maybe let's not, huh? You know what? Maybe let's not. Maybe that's a dumb idea. Maybe we'll just look. Maybe looking is the better idea. Stop it. Of course, we had to settle right on top of Skeleton Kingdom. That is crazy. Chainmail, would you be a very kind sir and drop those, please? I don't think he did. No, you did not. And I don't know why I checked. Maybe this is an episode two kind of thing. Well, uh, it's good to know that we have a ton of exploration to do. Ow, my shoulder. <laughs> It's it's a scratch. I keep saying it, but the seed just keeps getting crazier and crazier. Now I do believe, yep, this is an entrance to that whole place. Interesting. Now I did see a cliffside entrance. I don't know if it's wise, but I want to take a peek from the other angle, from the other side, because of course, how can I not? Oh man, this looks like a super villain lair. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. That's not an episode one thing. <laughs> There's probably another entrance right there. And how lucky are we to have settled exactly right here and that is under us. I swear to you, I did not plan it. Okay, that is the definition of what I would call a future Thork problem. So I'm gonna let future Thork deal with that. Sorry in advance if that goes kind of crazy. You'll understand, right? In the meantime, I think we should finally, finally get started on building up our starter base, our little cozy cliffside cottage home kind of thing. I have a vague idea of what I want it to look like. We can have a pathway coming up right here. This area will be where the house is. We can have like a nice chill little cliffside fireside type thing here. Kind of have a walkway overviewing this entire thing. Maybe this can be the stables over here since this already is where my horse is at. Back here could be the farming section. Back there could be where the bee farm goes eventually. We could put something here and then lead down to that big wide open cavern. Or maybe that's the mining section? I don't know yet. We have plenty of time to sort out where we want to put things because we have all of this <laughs> and I want to make this area so, so pretty. This is probably going to be the biggest project I undertake in my Minecraft journey so far. This whole area seems like a perfect place to expand the Thorkian Empire. In the last series that I did, someone commented that maybe, you know, for a video idea, you could expand out to different areas of the world and create a Thorkian Empire and all that kind of stuff, and I love that idea. And you know, what better a location to expand my Thorkian Empire than this? I also like to think of my areas and my worlds, kind of like a Hermitcraft episode, but without the hermits. I like to create a mining area, an industrial zone, main house area, and all that kind of stuff. And I think from what I have discovered and explored already, that area over there could be an industrial zone. This area could be our main living quarters. That area over there could be for like random cool builds. Like we could expand an entire cherry kingdom since that goes on forever. We could put a lighthouse here, like a main hub. And you know, honestly, this area is big enough to put like a water kingdom at the bottom of this and make this whole area glow at night with like an underwater city. I don't know. I'm getting very ahead of myself and I don't want to make promises that I can't keep. However, that's what's going through my head right now. We could connect these two areas with like a bridge. We can create like an aqueduct here going under, like create a tunnel from here to there because there's another body of water that leads out that way and just like create an entire network of awesomeness. <laughs> And that's going to be a lot of work. So if you're interested in watching what this area turns into, please hit subscribe. That helps out this channel so much. I don't want to be too pushy with it and all that kind of stuff. But seriously, this could be something and you guys could help make it something. So yeah, let's start clearing this area out. <laughs> We're going to get so many like flower petals from this. It's going to be unreal. This is probably enough area cleared out. I cleared out all the grass. I actually also went to collect some more cherry wood too. It's gonna be totally off the cuff and I don't know how big it's gonna be, but I hope it's gonna be pretty cool regardless. Now, I of course have to see what this looks like. It just looks like a strawberry milkshake. <laughs> you know what? I think that works pretty well. Oh wait, that for the post looks awesome. All right, I think I have a base color palette to work with. Just those two, maybe a little bit of dark oak thrown in there, but man, this is gonna look so good. I'm so excited. All right, what about these dimensions? I think that could work pretty well. Actually, let's push this back one more. That way we'll have like a center point. All right, let's just start throwing things down and see what works. I'm trying to texture as I go this time. Usually I do that afterwards, but I think doing it this way will give me a better idea 
of if this idea is gonna work or not. Yeah, absolutely. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, that's gonna look so good. I can't wait till I see this thing fully completed. Sorry if I go like really, really silent during this. Just, I tend to focus a lot when building. I guess one tip that I can give while I am working on this and, you know, talking about it is don't be afraid to mix blocks that you don't think go together because chances are they probably do in some way. You just got to figure that way out. And this is working so well already. Where should the back door be? Uh, I, yeah, I guess right here. Also, I have never made bamboo wood before. However, I think I might look good for either a roof or a floor. All right, do I just make it like, like this? No, how do I make it? Like this? Wait, is that how I do it? Block of bamboo. And then can I, <gasps> okay, that makes a lot of sense. All right, let's see how this looks on the floor. Oh my, absolutely. And it sounds so good. Bamboo slabs, of course. Let's put in a floor. What? <laughs> that was perfect timing. Man, I'm gonna need to go get more wood, but look at this. All right, I'm gonna let these grow a little bit and then work on the top section. Maybe something like that. Definitely need more wood. Excuse you. Excuse you. No interrupting. <gasps> what do you mean? Wait a second. That's a skeleton spawner right next to our base. Are you kidding me? Guys, guys, are you kidding? <laughs> what? This is right in our backyard. Literally, that's the house. <laughs> the seed. The seed is nuts. What? <laughs> I'm in genuine shock right now. <laughs> Let's see what's in the... <gasps> in the chest oh my gosh just everything man okay so we have ourselves an xp farm to build this series is about to be insane i am speechless i just wanted to light up a cave because the skeleton was there and now i know why the skeleton was there okay let's just keep going on this house now the only question in my mind is what are we going to use for a roof I do genuinely feel like maybe it could be a birch roof. Some dark oak log for like a staircase trim. That could look cool. This is going to take a lot of finicking and, and fine tuning and tweaking and all that kind of stuff. So I want to capture it all in a sped up time lapse and then come back so we can do some of the details. All right, future Thork, you know what to do. All right, this looks to be a pretty good base to work off of. Now, don't think it's done. We still gotta do all of the detailing and all of the things to make it really pretty and aesthetically pleasing, but I am really happy with it. These stripes creating an L pattern is really lovely. I had to redo half of the roof because I got the measurements wrong. I like the birch, I like the dark oak, and I think it just generally kind of flows together. And now we can sleep and then in the morning get started on all of the details. I have to do something because I can't resist. Oh, okay, this just looks like a Barbie playhouse at this point, <laughs> but we're gonna make it cottagecore-ish, but not really. Just just wait. Well, you'll see, you'll see. Also, I'm gonna have to figure out an upstairs. That's gonna be a whole process, but not a process for right now. I generally tend to approach the interiors of my build way later. We need windows. I think this might end up being a doorway to like a little courtyard area that leads out into kind of a pathway chill zone over here. Kind of like a slider door scenario, but obviously not a slider door. Make one here. Mm, I don't know about this wall, but I think for now, this is a really good start for windows. If I'm not mistaken, these basically turn directly into die. Yep, yes they do. So if we were to say like, do something like this, Oh man, okay, we gotta see what this looks like. I wonder if it's gonna be too cartoony? Mm, oh, I don't know. I'm not sure if that's gonna be too much or, or just enough, but for now we'll run with it. We'll run with it. This is very, very not cottage core. It's not, you know, like neutral color palettes and all that kind of stuff. It's very like playhouse, but I wanna try to shift away from that. I. Hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> there is absolutely nothing wrong with that, by the way. It's just not the goal for this. Actually, yeah, wait, what if we do stuff on the top? Yeah, I think that looks good, actually. Also, let's try some of this. Ooh, that adds a lot, actually. I think that's a world of difference. That, that might be interesting. That actually does help to break up the purple a lot, or pink. Oh yeah, that's so much better. 
Also, maybe we replace these. Okay, I think this change makes it look a lot better, a lot more like a house and less like a playhouse. You know, it still kind of looks that way on the inside because, I mean, nothing's here yet. It's very empty, but once we get the floors in, once we get storage, I think it's going to look better. And I, I hope that I'm going to get better at interiors because that is something I never did on my 1.19 survival series, which, by the way, maybe check that out if you want more content. But I digress. Let's get back to detailing this. I think I want to take a break from the outside and do something on the inside and then maybe move our stuff in once this is all done. You know what? This kind of reddish tinge actually does really match up quite well. Much more than this. <laughs> I just thought it would be too orange, like too much of a reddish orange instead of like a purpley pink, but no. I am pleasantly surprised. It's a world of difference, and it makes so much more sense. Oh my god, yeah. And like, what if we do stuff like this up here for like rafters or something? What if we just left it open? And... And what if we did this? You know what? Yeah, that very much works. Yep, yep, that's it. <gasps> Wait, this could be our bedroom. This is nice and cozy. Yeah, yeah, look at how cozy this is. Oh, that looks perfect. All right, this is a good start on the inside. Let's go back to the outside. I am thinking, I'm picturing in my mind, walking out here through a couple leaves, a pathway, out this way to like a main walkway that'll take you up and down this cliff face so it'll travel all the way through there all the way over here and then it'll be really aesthetically pleasing on the edge here so i think that's the plan i think i'm gonna lay out a couple pathways and i'll also do a little bit of terraforming i think this is the vibe and then eventually, once we get like a lot of deep slate and cobble and all that kind of stuff, we can create a stone barrier here. I mean, we could do that with like granite and andesite right now, actually, because we did not end up using like any for the build. Yeah, okay, I think that's what I want to do. Let's actually just start with a little bit of cobblestone now, kind of acting as like a retaining wall. And I'll texture this a little bit. That's why I'm doing it a bit spotty. Alright, hopefully that looks good from the lower area down there. And we can kind of sprinkle these throughout here. Some neighbors coming over to admire the sights. I'll take this as a sign uh, that you really like it. Alright, so I think this area is good enough for now. I cleared up the bamboo because I don't think we're going to need that there, at least for the decorations. I also added some spruce doors here just because I thought that worked well, and a spruce door up there. I also realized that we don't need these support beams up here because they don't serve any purpose. We can like put chests here or something because these are stairs. I think chests would work fine here. However, I've been sleeping outside for way too many nights in a row. I think we have enough of a house here to actually move in. And plus, once all this stuff is cleared out, I'll have a bit of a better idea on where decorations should go in the first place. Let us first and foremost move our bed. All right, I think the main storage area might be up here. I think this would be a really cool area. We could do two and two and then stack those to the ceiling. I'm just gonna throw everything in here that I don't need for now. And boom, that looks so nice. I think I'm probably gonna try to make this a pink bed eventually, but for now, this will be perfectly fine. And then we can have some chests over here. Now that I'm thinking about it though, this is a bit crowded. I thought it would be cute, but it's not. <laughs> I think for a first bedroom, this is gonna be great. And plus we can overlook the entirety of the render distance from here. <laughs> uh, I can't see much. I should probably turn up my render distance for this area, but I will deal with that issue when I need to. For now, I'm just gonna start moving everything inside. Hmm, maybe this will be excess storage because I don't wanna travel up and down this ladder every single time I need something. I think this could be a good main work area. Maybe it's that kind of vibe. Let's just take a ton of this stuff and see what we can do with it. I don't want things to feel too cramped. But maybe, maybe, I do kind of like that, but I need to figure this area out. Ooh, oh my gosh, it's nighttime. Okay, time for the first sleep in our new house. Oh, who disturbs my slumber? That's totally not an ominous message. I may be looking through rose-colored glass, but like, come on, I don't see anything. Maybe let's try again? Okay, <laughs> that could be cool. That's nice and cozy. 
For now, that's fine. This is precisely the point where everything starts to get unorganized again. It's the point in the process where I just say, I'm gonna do it later. And then, uh, never get around to it? Or I mean, totally get around to it. Totally, totally. Mm. I'm also thinking that this might be better open. That kind of looks better. Centered like that. Real quick, I want to see if we can create a cool little window here. Yeah, I think that would be a really cool window. I had to cut that because I was so confused at how to make this work because the fence was running right into the window, which did not look that great. <laughs> but we figured it out and I think it looks great. There's another ladder now and there's more than one way up and down, which is always good. Now, to tackle this roof situation, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Well, I guess it's not cheating, but it is covering up literally everything, <laughs> just with just with planks and calling it a day because I do not want to deal with the underside of stairs and slabs and making them all mesh well together. No, no thank you. Oh yeah, I even like the centerpiece right here, just kind of running straight down the middle. I think that looks really good. And then once we get some like shelving, some bookcases, some decor, some leaves in here, it'll look very cozy. I am loving this. And you know, even though we don't have enough iron for an anvil, really, I still want to make one. I just want to try to complete this area a little bit better. So that means stuff like a loom here, maybe an anvil right here. Then we can add things to this as we go. And with that, I think we are officially moved in. We have a ton of work to do inside here to make it look pretty, but I think I want to go back to focusing on the outside. Flip flop to this, then to that, then to that. that that's just the mind of a creative, I think. A little bit of self-reflection as well. I think we have come a long way in terms of starter houses. This is probably a about double the size of my first starter house on 1.19. And so I am super excited for what the rest of the series will entail. I mean, we have a ton of area to fill up, so we're gonna have to build really big. Double it or nothing, go big or go home, something like that. All right, let's make the outside of this place a little prettier. And to do that, I think I'm gonna do that either in the form of a time lapse or just cutting in and cutting out what works and what doesn't, because it'll be a lot of experimentation and I'll be editing for hours and hours and hours if, uh, if I just leave everything in. So to make it easier on me and more enjoyable for you, let's just get started. Okay, let's go. I think we're gonna do a ton of moss and then cut it back where we need. One thing about me and my process is I love to work with the environment. I feel like that method tends to yield the best results, no matter what you're doing. Now time to do a little bit of gardening, some lawn care if you will. We don't always want overgrown. Like stuff like that I think looks great. Quick tip, we can put these on the floor. It's the little things and little details like this that you poured so much time into that really kind of tie it all in, I think. The kind of thing that not a lot of people will notice, but if they do notice, they'll appreciate immensely. Throw these flowers around because they look gorgeous. Creating trails in your world that make it feel lived in is a really, really important touch. Also, let's just put a little couple pieces of moss in here because why not that's probably going to be temporary but you know it's cool we could add some carpet here though actually that might not be temporary it really is a vibe <laughs> oh my gosh look at how good this is looking already time to just spam a bunch of these i think keyboard noises engage hopefully it isn't too loud i mean i do want to work on getting that a bit better for you guys though flowers also, let's get a bit more bone meal and bone meal some of these azalea trees. I think that one's great. Let's do another on the other side of it, like right here or something. Boom. It is a little bit close to the house, but I gotta say I don't mind. Maybe we can do this one. I think that works. Do one right here. <gasps> that turned out perfect. One right here. Yeah, 100%. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Oh, that legitimately freaked me out. Why do Endermen have to be so scary? Now this is what I'm excited for. Oh my gosh, these look so good. Oh, could we create a little archway? Let's just sprinkle a ton of these. Oh man, this is looking so good. I will never not say that just because it's so true. <laughs> yes, let's add some green on the underneath side. Kind of like darkest on the bottom type logic. Always got to add some diversity in here. Oh my gosh. 
gosh, this is turning out so perfectly. And I think right in this section, right here, we can put something special. Add some of this in here because yes, mm -hmm. I love it. Also, I think it's time for this. Oh man, this is like one of those just purely relaxation bedrooms. It's it's not it's not functional. It's just there and it's cozy and hmm. <laughs> Also, this seems like a great area for a, a little bit of a pond. Okay. Oh man, that looks so good. Kind of like a little, little umbrella, you know? An umbrella for what? I'm glad you asked. Our chill zone. Man, this is looking so cool. I tend to enjoy making chill out areas at the beginning of the world. In my one point now, in my 1.19 survival world, I made an area kind of like this, not with, you know, all the 1.20 stuff, but the concept of a campfire hangout area, I think that's a really cool idea. So I wanted to bring it into this world. And like, look at the view here, man. It really is super cozy. The only other thing that I can think of would be adding banners to this to kind of make it flow in the wind, but I don't know if I have the wool for that and I don't have a sheep farm yet, so that might have to wait for later. All right, now with this area basically complete, I think there's only one more thing that I want to finish up. I want to add some planters. I want to finish this pathway, make, you know, a couple sticks and stones and twigs and a couple detail blocks here and there. And you know, after that, I think this build might be done. So let's get that sorted out. For pathway details, I like to do something a little different. One thing that I found that I love doing is making little staircase rivers. And if you don't know what I mean, this is what I mean. You can actually waterlog, you know, stairs. So if you make something like this, you can actually make a little bit of a stream, like a little bit of a river. And you can waterlog leaves like this. And I like to make little rainy puddle leaves. I don't know, that's not a technical term. Don't quote me on it, but like that's that's what I love doing. Something I haven't tried yet is doing it with this. Yep, you could waterlog those too. I like to just, you know, sprinkle it in here and there because it adds a lot of depth. And fun fact, if you have lily pads, you can put lily pads on these. Fun building tips with Thor. Ooh, that's kind of a cool texture. Also, one of my favorite tips is buttons. I like to sprinkle them around trees and whatnot to kind of act like acorns. You could do these with stone buttons too, to kind of like act as rocks. Just fill in the gaps, you know, wherever, wherever you see details that are lacking a little bit, just throw some around. We can add a couple little planter areas here, I think. I think we do want one of those like right here. Got that area, we can do this, some here. Maybe we can do this and flip it up. Actually, let's use moss. That'll be much better. I think that looks kind of nice. Throw some pumpkins around here for no other reason than they kind of look nice. Add some slabs in here and there to make it look a little bit, a little bit dynamic. Also, I've never tried this before, but I know it's supposed to work. Adding a hay bale underneath this to make it go a bit brighter or a bit taller. Learning things with Thork. <laughs> hmm, what if I did this for this one? And we were to do something like this. Yeah, that's really nice. Ooh, that's fun. I really like that, actually. Oh wait, I totally forgot about the roof. All right, let's do this. I'm just gonna go wild with it. <laughs> like honestly, adding leaves to roofs, just feel free to make it crazy. I'll also throw in some of these alongside. Yeah, oh yeah, hmm. Yeah, I think this is great. I also have to be on the lookout for, uh, neighbors. I think we should be fine, but I don't know. 
I think that's fine. Ooh, that's really pretty. I love that. I couldn't wait. I had to go find vines. I just wanted to go right to the source. Imagine if there's a temple lost in there somewhere. Alright, anyways, time to walk back home. Alright, now we have kind of a vineyard going, but I mean like technically, this is our first farm. Of course that's the thing that happens in a Your Human Thork video. First farm, wheat, potatoes, carrots, something you can eat? Nah. Vines, man. I mean, I do believe this is my last piece of bread. Uh, ignore these hay bales. Those aren't food. Those are decoration, obviously. I know I could spend a little bit more time in this episode and set up a farm so I don't have to do that later, but like, I'm already out of time. In fact, I'm over time for this episode, so... And so, we need to wrap this up and focus on the next one. <laughs> I don't need this backside. Let's just throw a couple of these, like, here. We'll do, like, one on each side of the house. Let's put that right there instead, actually. And, you know, if I'm not mistaken, everyone, I think that's the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and the very first episode of our Minecraft 1.20 Survival Let's Play series. We are back and the ball is rolling on a brand new series. I mean, it feels so good to say that, you have no idea. If you are a brand new viewer and you just discovered my channel, welcome, I hope you stick around, we have tons of fun over here. And if you're an original, day one, OG viewer, thank you so much for being back, I really appreciate you. Having all of your guys' support, no matter when you found me, just means so much. We have so much of this world out to discover. If you have any ideas for this series, be sure to let me know in a comment. I read all of them. I reply to all of them. At least I try to. Comments, concerns, suggestions, all of them, leave them below. I have no shortage of ideas now, but it's always good. All right, I need to be getting to bed. It's getting pretty dark out here. Once again, thank you guys so much. Keep being you, keep being awesome, and we will see you in the next one. See you guys. Man, this area is so perfect. I, I cannot believe this is the first episode. I don't think I'll ever not be speechless, honestly. Crazy.